industry because I don't want to generalize it, right? Right. But most right. property agents wouldn't want to do what you were doing, and you started around. 2016, right? Like towards the end of 2016, that's when you started, you know, doing paid media, some creating different angles, video shooting. So, where did you get this idea from, or what motivated you to actually do this? Yeah, so um, I was I was doing things pretty much like um, the rest of our real estate uh, mm-hmm. sales professionals. So. Um, every time we have we had we have property that is up for sale, um, and the client appoints us to sell the place. We'll go in, uh, whip out our phones, and then we we'll start taking some photographs, <laughs> and then we'll pump it on uh, the property portals. Right. And um, that, uh, in my context today, I call it a wait and see kind of approach because mm, um, I, I, I feel powerless as a real estate professional because I'm supposed to be the professional and the expert for my client. But I feel powerless in the sense that this is this seems to be like the only platform that I can depend on to sell a property, right? And uh, all I can do is just to post it. Um, I can adjust the brightness of the photos a little bit, put in more description. But I, c- I can only wait. Mm. I can't control what I want to do with marketing and advertising, right? So um, back then, since about six years ago. Uh, which is in 2014, I actually tell myself that I will stop doing printed media because we were also using printed media to market our clients' properties as well as to get new clients, but we have noticed the huge dip in ROI. And um, that huge dip actually made me make a commitment to myself is that I'm going to chop my hands from printing flyers, I'm going to chop my hands from doing printed media because uh, I feel that the ROI as a business point of view is not working and it's not helping my clients as well. So, um, so about four years ago, I chanced upon a lot of very interesting videos uh, coming from America. Mm. And um, I, just, I was just asking myself, you know, why are we not doing this in Singapore? And um, I started to look at what Singapore real estate market is doing and what the states uh, are doing. And I just realized that, yes, in Singapore, there are some um, property agents that are actually using um, some videos uh, taken from their phones and and cameras. But um, the interesting thing is that they are mainly panning videos. That means panning videos with music, but there's no human... Um, there's there's no human content, right? Mm. So there's there's no presenter in the home itself. So uh, we decided to give it a shot. Uh, a lot of inspiration came from America. Uh, I think they are way more advanced than where we are today, at least like three four years ahead of us. So uh, we decided to start the first um, home tour video with a presenter in the home itself, and that was in the late 2016. When I saw you, when I saw <laughs> this this ad, you know targeted at me <laughs> and I was like whoa this this because I am doing digital marketing I run an agency I'm like whoa this agent wants to do something different like he is creating right is building and that was pretty cool and I'm glad that I managed to have you on my podcast you know thanks once again for being so what is your vision for 2020 it's the start of a brand new decade what is your vision you mentioned legacy so what, what is that to you yeah, so um, we, we have a crazy vision, which is to really change um, how real estate is being marketed in Singapore. That's one of our sure. crazy vision. Uh, at the 